and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my TBR and I'll be doing my first ever TBR jar experience, I guess you could say, because <laughs> I've never done a TBR jar before. Look how cute my jar is. It's got strawberries on it. I love it. I don't have a lot of prompts in here because I couldn't really think of too many. <laughs> so if you have some prompts you think I could use, please leave them down in the comments Please, please, please do so. I know commenting is kind of scary and like awkward and weird. I get scared to comment on video, so I never really do. But if you could please comment down below some TBR prompts, I would be so appreciative. If I don't have them in the jar already, I'll definitely be putting them in. All right? All right. So I'm in front of this bookshelf specifically because right down here is my fall, fall TBR? Yes. <laughs> These books I've already read, so don't pay attention to those. My other physical TBR is all down here, which you can't see, unfortunately. But these are my priority right now. They're my most fall style books. But if I don't have a prompt that fits one of these, I will choose one of my other ones. All right, I'm like able to freely walk around today because I'm standing too, which is kind of fun. I also hope you enjoy my sweater. It's like fall foliage in the shape of a heart. I love this. I thrifted it. It's my favorite thing I own. I'm nervous. I don't know. Oh, I picked a really small one. I think a lot of my small ones are like kind of scary ones. A queer read. Yay. Okay. I have lots of those on my fall TBR. Um, <laughs> this one is a retelling of the what is that one fucking oh this is a retelling of pride and prejudice but through a like two men and one of them is trans i've never read pride and prejudice but that's fine but it's okay but this is a this is an option another option is the scottish boy but i don't think i'm going to choose this one because it's huge <gasps> Ooh. The Z word. A zombie sapphic romance. I've had this one on my TBR for a while, but... Zombies? <laughs> I've never read Pride and Prejudice. That's my only reason why I wouldn't want to read this yet. Is because I'm like, do I want to read Pride and Prejudice first? But I don't know if I will. It's definitely out of these three. I'm not sure which one. I, I feel like I should probably pick most Aridently? Most aridently? I can't pronounce that word for some reason. Because I've had this for so long. Yeah, I'm gonna choose this one because I've had it for so long on my TBR. I think it's time that I chose it, so. It'll be going right up here behind me. I'm gonna be picking how many prompts? Maybe like six, I guess. I'd rather have, I guess, I, I read between four to six books a month. Um, four if I have a busy month, six if I'm pretty chillin' around the house. Um, so I'm thinking of either doing six or eight, because, like, I like to have options within the month, so maybe eight. We'll start with six, and then if I get a little, want to do a little bit more, I'll do eight. All right. This is fun, though. <laughs> Ooh. Damn it! This one's inspired by a classic. And I just picked the one that I basically wrote this for. Fuck. Hmm. This one is Beauty and the Beast considered a classic. And if Beauty and the Beast is a classic, then I could choose this one, Unbound. I'm gonna assume, you know, I'm gonna assume that it is and just pick this one because I think that's the only thing that I have. No, 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 no. Our Hideous Progeny. This one's inspired by like Frankenstein and stuff. Oh yes, I'm gonna pick this one. I've also had that on my TBR for quite a while, so I feel like I should pick that over Unbound, which I just recently got. This is going good. It's going good. Mm -hmm. Oh, a long one. This is, damn. Choose a book inspired by the last song you listened to. 
Well, let me go get my phone. I was listening to classic music when I read, so if I just re read recently, it's gonna be a classic song. Can't really choose a book from that. Oh, Show and Tell by Melanie Martinez. That's cute, that's sweet, I love that. I love that it's a Melanie Martinez book. Eee. Okay, what's giving show and tell? Weirdly enough, I feel like the stolen air, kind of. Cause like, I do know the main girl protagonist within that is kind of like a prisoner-esque thing and show and tell has that whole vibe like you're kind of keeping her as a prisoner just cause she's famous. So I am gonna pick the stolen air because I feel like Oak and the main female character that I cannot remember her name of this one are a bit of like, what's the word I'm looking for? They're being used per se. Like that's what happened in the original series. You, if you know, you know kind of thing. I don't wanna say much anymore. Um, so yeah, I think it goes the best with the books that I have currently. A book you've had for a long time. Meow. So far currently on my physical TBR, the book I've had the longest is A Far Wilder Magic. On my physical TBR, on my fall TBR <laughs> is A Far Wilder Magic. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, but the longest book I've had on my physical TBR is A Winter's Promise. I've had this maybe for five years almost now. Um, for almost five years. I've had this for quite a while. I brought it with me and planned to read it on my travels and just never did. I do want to read this one, but I was kind of waiting for winter because it's a, it's a Winter's Promise. I don't know. I thought it would correlate. So I was thinking of reading this in December. I think I'm gonna wait. Since it's not on my fall TBR, I'm allowed to do it, right? Yeah, totally. So I'm gonna pick A Far Wilder Magic. I've been really wanting to read that one for a long time. I have three hard covers on my TBR. Oh, one fell out. I'll do the one that fell out. Yay. I like when it chooses for me. Listen to an audiobook. Yay. That's easy. Okay. Uh, let's let's check i have audible uh i used to have the spotify thing where you can do it for free oh it was so great but then i was like you know let me do a family plan and add my family so i changed my spotify account to be living in japan because you know that's where that's where i am that's where me and my family are of course Dumbass idea because obviously they don't have the audiobooks. Duh. Why would they? So now I can't get audiobooks because I can't figure out how to switch it back. I think I'm gonna pick Lady Ten Circle of Women. It sounds really good and I'm very intrigued. It's narrated by two people, so that's fun. I regret everything. Okay. A book that is over 500 pages. Goody goody gumdrops for me. The Scottish boy is 506 pages. Jesus. Okay. Nah. I also have this book, which is quite big. It is not. Nope. No. It's only 470 something. Damn it. This may be my only book. I don't want to read. I don't know, I the synopsis on this sounds good, but then when I got in the mail and saw how huge it was, it made me not want to read it, and it's not floppy. What is this? No flop. How? Oh, oh. Oh, never mind, I kind of want to read it now. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god, what is that? There's pictures! Well, there was a- There's pictures! With an S, plural. No, there's not. Wait. There! There's a map in the middle. Oh, I found another picture. I probably shouldn't look at all the pictures. You know what? I'm gonna pick this. Haha! <laughs> the picture saved it. 
All right, that's my sixth book. I will go to eight just to have some extras in case I don't want to read that chunker right there. A book in a series. I think I picked my only book that's in a series. Fuck, why do I keep doing that? This says The Blood of Age number one. So I'm gonna gather that this is a series. I don't know if the other book is out or not. Okay, so on Goodreads it says there is a series, but it only shows one book. So I'm gonna gather that this, ha yeah, this came out in 2024, this one. So I'm gonna gather it's just not out yet. Because I really do wanna read this, it's nice. So I'm gonna choose this. A book with one word title. I don't know if you can read that. I don't know why I used yellow. Dreadful and Unbound. And Anatomy. Oh, sick ass. Oh, all my books fell down. Anatomy, Unbound, and Dreadful. I want to read Dreadful so bad. It sounds so good. But I've had Anatomy for so long. And I specifically have been waiting to read it in the fall time. So I do feel like I should pick this one. I'm going to pick this one because this has romance in it. And how many? Oh, no. I was going to say, how many romances do I have? I have a lot. I have a lot. Most of them are romance. Why did I not even clock that? Um, I'm going to pick Dreadful because I know I'm going to get annoyed with romance. There's something about romance that I just cannot read a romance book after romance book after romance book. I get so fucking annoyed with it. So I will pick Dreadful. I really want... I do, I, mm. I do want to read Anatomy, though. You know, I'm going to put both, I think, on my TBR. This is my TBR. I can do it. I'm going to put both on there. And then, depending on how I'm feeling, if I don't want any more romance, I'll pick Dreadful. But if I'm fine with some more romance, I'm going to pick Anatomy. Here is my November TBR. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you back again. And please leave a like and subscribe. Bye-bye.